Members of City Council, please attend the call meeting of the City Council to be held in the 6th floor conference room, 801 Crawford Street, 5 p.m. Tuesday, November 12, 2013, for the purpose of a public work session. In addition, you may consider a motion to go into closed meeting by order of the Mayor. Mr. Cherry? Here. Mr. Edmonds? Here. Mr. Meeks? Mr. Moody? Here. Ms. Simmons? Ms. Randall? Mayor Wright? Here. Mr. Rowe? Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We have a uh, short agenda tonight, since I say that I'll knock on wood and regret it, <laughs> uh, but a great agenda. One of the great things we have on here is a status report on our uh, Portsmouth Collard Community Library um, and a recommendation at the jump to the very end that we make this part of our museum operation. I sent you a memo ahead of this, and Brandon's going to give us a briefing uh, with the punchline being that uh, if you give us the green light, we'll work hard to develop a budget and work this into the budget for 2014-15. Brandon? Thanks, John. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Vice Mayor, and members of council. Um, as you know, the Portsmouth Collard Community Library is a, a very important asset. Uh, to the history of Portsmouth and um, the, uh, in particular, the African American Historical Society of Portsmouth, of whose members many are, are here tonight, um, have uh, played uh, an important role in restoring it and, um, and making it uh, the museum that it is uh, over the last six years since it's been um, relocated to its, its current location on Elm Avenue. And, um, and now we're at sort of the proverbial fork in the road. We either uh, continue um, with uh, um, the, the operation of the museum as it was intended um, in uh, a 2007 memorandum of understanding, which I will detail in just a few minutes, um, or we go in a different direction uh, at the request of the museum. And so tonight I'm gonna give you a little background uh, on the development of the of the library and the museum, and uh, and where we are um, in discussions with the society on the future operation of the museum. Um, first, uh, again, this this building is an important part of um, Portsmouth history, um, and now uh, this museum um, in the building is dedicated to preserving the history of uh, the contributions of African Americans to Portsmouth. And, uh, and the growth of Portsmouth um, and uh, its emergence from a segregated past. Um, the museum is in the library building. The Portsmouth Colored Community Library was originally located uh, at 804 South Street uh, on what is now the parking lot for Ebenezer Baptist Church. And in 2003, the city agreed to purchase the library building from Ebenezer Baptist Church and relocate it. And it did that in 2007, and so now it is, um, its current location is on Elm Avenue next to the neighborhood recreation facility. And as you saw on the, the opening slide, um, uh, the, the importance of that building to the history of uh, Portsmouth, and in fact, uh, uh, the country is, is um, illustrated by its recognition as uh, um, on the National Registry of Historic Places, which it got that designation in 2009. So after uh, we, we re relocated it um, in 2007, um, the city and the uh, African American Historical Society um, entered into uh, a memorandum of understanding in 2007. And um, that agreement, that understanding, um, uh, laid out what would be the responsibilities of the society um, and the city uh, going forward with uh, the, the library museum. Uh, the city's responsibility was to uh, relocate the building and to provide basic uh, exterior work to bring it up to code compliance, um, and that would be at the city's expense. The society uh, would renovate the interior uh, also to code compliance and um, bring it up to uh, the quality and historical accuracy um, of, a, of a showplace, of a museum at its expense. And then when all that was done, 
the society and the city would um, enter into a lease agreement whereby the society would continue to operate the library as a museum uh, and the city would provide other uh, means of financial and operational support. Um, if we continue as directed by the 2007 MOU, uh, we would now go into a lease agreement uh, with um, the society. And the terms of that lease agreement would be, uh, it would be a, a five-year term that would be renewable. Um, the, uh, the, the society would, would rent it from the city for a dollar per year. Uh, the society would operate the library and provide programming. Um, and it would be responsible for the operational costs, including staffing and interior maintenance and utilities. Um, and the city would maintain the building exterior. And in that 2007 MOU, it provided for, uh, if, we, if we got to this lease point, uh, that the city would contribute to the society $5,000 a year for operational support. And the city would also provide some other technical support for the operation of the museum. So just to sort of bring you up to the date and give you some, some views of the interior, um, this is um, uh, the um, one side of the inside of the building. Um, you can see the um, basically all the interior improvements have been made. Um, the society is still working on some exhibits and displays within the inside of it. Uh, here's another interior view. Um, this is looking back out the front door. Um, and the city, uh, over the last six years, has uh, completed the exterior improvements that it committed to. Um, and this is a view from Elm Avenue, and this is a view from a uh, neighborhood facility. So that brings us up to uh, this year, and uh, since the, the prerequisites um, uh, for the lease by both parties were completed uh, sometime in last year, we began earlier this year to, to craft that lease agreement. And so in March, um, the um, Assistant City Attorney, Nancy Cherry, and I uh, took the first shot at uh, drafting a lease agreement, and we sent it to the society. Um, they looked at it over the next several months. And in the meantime, the city also uh, made a few more improvements to the property, uh, including painting the building, uh, we installed a concrete walkway along the side um, uh, between the museum and neighborhood facility, um, installed a fence, uh, and we have uh, some landscaping work under contract. Um, and, um, and that brought us to October when uh, the society and, the, and city staff uh, got together to start working on this lease. The society had um, taken the time to uh, review it and, and uh, made some suggestions for things that they wanted in the lease agreement. And um, as we met and, and talked about what some of those issues were, um, we, um, uh, uh, we were dealing with the challenges of um, the city continuing to own and insure the building, but the society operating it as a museum. Um, and then the society also wanted uh, some additional operating support uh, in terms of funds from the city. And uh, it became apparent that the best way to move forward uh, would be for this to become a city museum operated by the Department of Museums. It was certainly uh, um, facilitate some of that uh, joint ownership and operation rather than have the city uh, try to figure out how to um, ensure and, uh, that building, but have the society operate it and, and the city make a contribution to the society and work all that out in a lease agreement. Um, the, the society said, what if the city just took this on as its own um, operation under the Department of Museums? And so that's where we are uh, tonight. Um, this is uh, because it's, it is a departure from the 2007 MOU. Uh, we bring this back to you um, uh, with, uh, for your consideration and with a recommendation that we go in this direction. And, and so we would um, uh, 
if we go in this direction, uh, which is to, to um, make this library uh, city museum, um, we'll negate any need to pursue any further a uh, lease agreement with the society. Um, the, the timetable that we're looking at to practically bring this into um, the city's operation would be uh, consistent with the fiscal year change, so it would be July 1 of this coming year. Uh, in the meantime, the Department of Museums, um, in consultation with the society, would uh, develop a budget and operational plan um, for the um, to, to be implemented in the upcoming uh, fiscal year, FY 14-15. And um, one of the other provisions that the society had asked for um, is that it would be, uh, it would continue to own the collection and the artifacts um, and serve in an advisory capacity for the Department of Museums. And then because the society would still own those artifacts but the city would be operating the museum, uh, we would need to enter into a uh, collections agreement uh, with the society. So, um, uh, after you consider this and with your consent, um, again, we recommend that we go in this direction. And uh, if you so agree, then we will begin to work on um, uh, the, the operations plan and um, the budget um, and include that in the manager's recommended budget to you for FY15. And um, if, if that is uh, adopted, then our plan would be to begin operating the, the, um, the Portsmouth Colored Community Library as a city museum on July 1 of 2014. Okay. <coughs> you have any questions? No, I, um, I think it's an excellent idea. I'm pleased to see that we've come up with this type of agreement because I think it, it fits both of us in, in, in talking with the committee, the society, and, and some of the things and concerns that it had. I think we've we've actually put this thing on the front page, and we're looking forward to that yeah. uh, grand opening, December the 21st. Yeah. And uh, uh, and I like what you propose. Are there any other questions or comments? I think I think I, it's a great uh, great conclusion to uh, a long journey. Actually, okay. uh, the society is. Uh, been the catalyst to get to this point, and I think that to be congratulated uh, on the hard work and, and uh, uh, along the way, it has been a long journey. Yep. Uh, on the artifacts loan agreement, uh, will, will the, uh, can you expound on that as far as the uh, uh, want to make sure that the artifacts are covered via insurance sure. uh, on, on any agreement so it doesn't and we do that now because a lot of stuff that we show at our museums are on loan and we're all the time getting into a loan agreement and having the necessary insurance on artifacts and I'm sure over time we'll end up owning some stuff ourselves right so this is not unusual for a museum at all and, and you're right too this is a long journey and and you're absolutely correct and and uh, and put the spotlight on the leadership of May Beckham Ridge and and her her colleagues. Absolutely, Ms. Raymer. Uh, uh, thank you. I would just like to say it's been a long time coming, and God has blessed us to live long enough to see it happen. It has been something that has been a dream for a long time for those who really had a big hand in bringing this about. And I'm hoping that we give it the oh. dignity and the distinction that is needed because it is Portsmouth's history yes, and particularly the African Americans and it goes back a long time. I'm so glad that I've lived long enough to see it happen during the time that I'm still around to see it. And I just commend the members of the board for all of your due diligence in ensuring that this day would come about and we would see it recognized by the city of Portsmouth for the history for which it represents. Well, I take it then Thank we you. have a green light. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Good job.
Uh, the last item we have for your uh, work session agenda is the ordinance that will be on your regular session agenda about the emergency funding for the emergency runner shelter. I sent you a memorandum on this. I think it's self-explanatory. I just wanted to remind you that this will come up on the agenda. And again, the appropriations would strings, uh, as you can see from the second um, part of the ordinance. That's it. We have a need for a closed session. I move to go in a closed meeting pursuant to, to the provisions of Virginia Code Section 2.2-3711 for the following purposes. Consultation with legal counsel and briefing by staff pertaining to a matter of actual litigation. Uh, Meeks versus City of Portsmouth as permitted under subsection A7. Consultation with legal counsel and briefings by staff regarding legal matters involving uh, restrictive covenants uh, uh, applicable to the uh, Ocean Marine site and appeal from a decision of the Historic Preservation Commission and city property and MLK connector project, all as permitted under subsection A7. Uh, discussion concerning the performance of the city council members as permitted under subsection A1. Second. Right. Mr. Cherry? Yes. Mr. Edmund? Yes. Mr. Denise is absent. Mr. Moody? Yes. Absent. Ms. Randall? Yes. Mayor Wright? Yes. We are in closed session. Thank you.